Hello and welcome to Landlight on NDTV 24-7. Kiri Puranji is the name of a new exhibition of Australian Aboriginal art that opens in Delhi this weekend. Specifically, the art comes from a small group of islands called the Kiri Islands off the northern coast of Australia. But the art is in fact hundreds and thousands of years old. Here's a report. It is dream time from Aboriginal Australia. Each of these series of vivid dots and lines and natural dyes represent the complex iconography of the TV people who belong to a small group of islands off Darwin. Although contemporary works, these deeply symbolic and seemingly modern paintings have remained unchanged for thousands of years. <laughs> Representative of the most primitive of rituals of life, of food and fertility, ritual body painting, and funerary art. They believe that their ancestors came out of the ground, moved across the ground, and created the form of the land as they went. So various uh, elements within the pictures might refer to a cave or a waterhole or a particular place where an ancestor might have emerged from. The exhibition titled Kiri Puranji, which means clever with our hands, includes works on paper, painted artifacts such as spears, and the wooden windpipes that the Aboriginals call digitaroos. The Indian fusion group Earth Rhythms provided an apt background of their music to indigenous art from Australia. And for the art gallery, it was an effort to link traditional art forms from the two continents. It's a very seminal exhibition because there are a lot of commonalities in the making of the images which deal with dream time, which deals with myths, which deals with legends. And again, we have a common past in that. The pure bright colors of TV art are derived from the simplest of dyes. Colors are natural ochres. There are white clay based on charcoal. And the reason why they use dark colors in the background is because it relates to their skin color. And so when they put the body paint on, they like that you know, brightness between the ochre and the, and the skin color. So they use it in their paintings as well. They use clay for the white, and they use ochres for the darker colors. And the yellow ochre is burnt in the fire to make the darker brown color. The exhibition of Australian art is on until the 20th of July in Delhi. Sunil Sethi, NDTV 24-7.